فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد دفوث حديث الحديث الرابع في شيء من خصائص رمضان some of the unique characteristics of Ramadan. The fourth hadith is some of the unique characteristics that are in this noble month of Ramadan. An Abi Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal qala rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam idha dakhala shahru Ramadan futtihat abwaabu al-janna وغلقت أبواب النار وسفدت الشياطين متفق عليه وفي رواية لمسلم فتحت أبواب الرحمة This hadith is an evidence that deals with the virtues in this noble month of Ramadan and the great unique characteristics in which Ramadan has Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He gave Ramadan a virtue over the rest of the months in the year. And Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He specified in this month things that you will not find in any, any other month of the year. The reason is because to call and to give the people the chance to come with righteous actions, to come with obedience, to come with excellence. This month of Ramadan, تفتح أبواب الجنة. The doors of Jannah all open. The gates of Jannah open. وتغلق أبواب النار. And the gates of the hellfire are closed and they're locked. The reason to this, Abdullah ibn Salih al-Fawzan says, وذلك والله أعلم. And Allah knows best. Allah knows best. Is لكثرة الخير في رمضان. Because there are excessive and there are a lot of good in this great noble month. وَزِيَادَةُ الْإِقْبَالِ عَلَىٰ أَسْبَابِ الْمَغْفِرَةِ وَالْرِضْوَانِ And in this month, there's an increase of how people have turned, how the people have turned to the means of forgiveness, the means that allow them to get Allah to be pleased with them, subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَيَقِلُّ الشَّرُّ فِي الْأَرْضِ the evil becomes less on the earth. The shayateen are then locked and they're chained up. حيث سفدت المرادة الشياطين The hard-headed shayateen are chained. بالسلاسل والأغلال They are chained up with chains, metal rods. The reason is because لانشغال المسلمين بالصيام وتلاوة القرآن وذكر الله تعالى وكل فعل من أفعال البر وكل قول من أقوال الخير. The reason is because this month the Muslims are busy. They are busy in fasting. They are also busy in reciting the Quran. They are busy in remembering Allah. They are busy and preoccupied in coming with actions that please Allah تبارك وتعالى. And to speak speeches which please him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this shows us, brothers, the secret. This is the secret. This is the reason why we find a lot of Muslims turning back to Allah, repenting from their sins and their shortcomings. We see a lot of them striving to obedience in this month. We see a lot of them who don't come to the masjid. 
they come and they turn towards the masjid في هذا الشهر الفضيل in this noble month because the shaytan who is chained cannot, can still harm you even though he's chained والشيطان المفصفد قد يؤذي يؤذي he can still harm you just because a person is chained that doesn't mean that they can't harm you but لكن هذا أقل وأضعف it's less it's little the effect that he can have on you the things that he can do to you are not as much as if he was not chained which is what happens in the other months of the year he's free he flexes his muscles The strength of that shaitan is connected to your fasting. And the effect that he can have on you is all connected to how much your fasting is. If your fasting is, your limbs are fasting, your heart is fasting, you're fasting from your mouth, you're following Allah wa ta'ala as you should do, the weaker shaitan is and that, and that he is unable to do anything and affect you. But if your fasting is a fasting where you're speaking foul language, you're delaying the prayer, you're spending all day sleeping, then your shaitan is, has some form of strength, has some form of power over you. And anyone who's fasting is complete, قَدْ حَافَظَ عَلَى شُرُوطِ الصَّوْمِ وَأَدَابِي has for The person whose fasting is complete has safeguarded, has protected the conditions of fasting and the manners that fasting has. He's protected it. And that person will repel. Shaytan دَفْعًا لَا يَدْفَعُهُ الصَّوْمُ النَّاقِصِ He will repel shaytan and he will push him away. A pushing and a repelling that a weak fasting cannot do. There are also other things, there are also other things and other causes other than shaitan that can affect your fasting. Which is your evil spirit and your evil soul. Al-Nufus al-Khabitha The soul which is evil can affect the individual. وَالْعَادَاتِ الْقَبِيحَةِ And the norms and the cultures that people have which are evil. وَالشَّيَاطِينُ الْإِنسِ The human shaytan who isn't chained. Evil friends that one will hang around with. And some of the scholars they said that the hadith that says وَسُفِّدَتِ الشَّيَاطِينَ They said other riwayat, other chains of narrations, like the one in Sunan al-Nasai. Clearly, explicitly says, مَرَدَتُ الشَّيَاطِينَ It doesn't just say shayateen. It says that the shaytan that is chained is the tyrant, hard-headed one. So the other little ones are running around still in the month of Ramadan. And they are still affecting the people. فَيَبْقَى تَأْثِيرُ مَنْ لَيْسَ بِمَارِدٍ So the effect can still come to you from either your evil spirit and your evil soul, the customs and the norms that you have nurtured yourself upon and you've raised yourself upon can also still affect you. And also what can affect you is the shaitan that is not married. The shaitan that is not tyrant and not hard-headed. So it's upon each and every one of us, my brothers and sisters, and you ila fi'l al khayrat wa anwa ta'at that we hasten, that we run to acts of obedience, acts of excellence. We come with the different types of good there are. Munadhim al waqta. We are those who safeguard and organize our times in this month. That we prepare 
we organize our time very well. Mustafidan min mawasim al ta'ah. And that we are sharp minded and we're smart and we're clever to know that this is an opportunity of a lifetime. And that we also abstain. Stay away as much as you can. Laziness. Sitting around. Procrastinating in this month of Ramadan and the nights of Ramadan. Also, don't sleep late in the noble month of Ramadan. The blessed month of Ramadan. Don't spend your night, all of it, awake. Sleep. So daytime liyakuna nashaytan fin nahar. So you can be enthusiastic at daytime. فَإِنَّ السَّهَرَ إِذَا نُهِيَ عَنْهُ فِي غَيْرِ رَمَضَانَ فَهُوَ فِي رَمَضَانَ أَشَدُّ فَهُوَ فِي رَمَضَانَ أَشَدُّ If فَإِنَّ السَّهَرَ إِذَا نُهِيَ If staying at night awake talking about foul language or even wasting your time in things that don't benefit you If it's prohibited in other than Ramadan فَهُوَ فِي رَمَضَانَ أَشَدُّ it is greater, the prohibition is more greater if it's in the month of Ramadan. Especially my brothers and sisters. Especially spending your whole night listening to music. Or sitting in gatherings. Sitting in gatherings which the remembrance of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is stripped from it. In which its harm is greater than the benefit you gain in it. That's it. Also wants to stay away from what? Sleep in the whole day. Rather, Maybe someone may even go to the extent of sleeping all day and he misses the prayer. Wallahu a'lam. And Allah knows best. I will conclude there inshallah ta'ala. Allahumma ayqina min ragadati al-ghafla wa wafiqna lil-isti'idadi qabla al-nuqla wa alhimna ikhtinam al-zamani waqt al-muhla wa aghfir اللهم ربنا لنا ولوالدينا ولجميع المسلمين سبحانك اللهم بحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفرك وأتوب إليه